What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. I'm Chris. That's Mike. Tonight, we're going to talk about one of the scenes that's got everybody in an uproar, and it's the scene with Maggie and Jesus and Daryl. Um, not a lot of people like the scene, including Mike and I. Uh, it, yeah. And, you know, so we, we figured we just maybe we could talk a little bit about it and, and see where we're, where we're at with the scene, right, Mike? It's yeah, just, just... Kind of, just kind of break it down. It was... It was just uh, it just didn't fit with a lot of how the characters, uh, you know, portrayed themselves uh, prior to this scene. And it was just odd. I don't know if it was one of those scenes that they kind of just did right away or if it maybe wasn't in the plans. And then just right. it doesn't to do something right. It just didn't. It doesn't much fit. Sense. It didn't fit. Like you that's said. right. So let's break down really with 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 what Maggie had said. Maggie talks about Hilltop and and this is what set off the red flags in my mind about how she wants to build and she wants to fortify. She wants to make this place better than it's than it's ever been. And that just makes me feel that she does not trust Negan no matter what he's in. If he's in a cell, if he's in a hole, if he's in a box. You know what I mean? So I just will he escape? Will they follow some of the comic things? Um, so let's let's get into it. How do you think? What's their plan? Well, the thing is, she says, you know, Rick was right. She tells Jesus and Daryl, Rick was right, right about not killing the saviors, but yeah. he was wrong about Negan. You mm -hmm. know, him and Michonne were wrong about Negan. And she says, we're going to bide our time, you know, um, until we can show him, basically. Yeah. And to me, you know, to me, I'm thinking, what is it? What do you mean? What do you what do you mean by? You say you're gonna buy your time, bide your time, and then you're gonna end, you're gonna show them. But so look, we're not we're not talking any malice towards Michonne or Rick. That's not that's not what they're gonna do. But but mm -hmm. how are they gonna show them? Are they gonna Let's... is she is she going to? So in my mind, it seems like are they gonna orchestrate something that is gonna allow Negan to escape, or to and then they'll show or maybe the colors. hurt somebody in Alexandria something, and then will they do something sneaky like that? Will they but that's give the thing. him a weapon? Will they? But that's let they're going to bide their time. Like so, right. you're going to. Are you waiting for something to happen? Is that it? Are you waiting for something? That's maybe true. you know what? Maybe that's it. Maybe that. Maybe maybe there's no malice in any of it, and they and, and they they're just, just like we're just going to bide our time and gonna, wait. Maybe we're just yeah. going to wait until the eventual, the eventuality of him escaping and coming after us again is going to happen. Maybe maybe that's or it. Or hurting man. somebody. Maybe they feel that. Negan will hurt somebody in Alexandria, but they're going to be they'll... ready for it. And they'll, and they can, it's one of those, like, I told you so. Kind well, of it'll moments. be, and I told you so, but it could also be like, if, if they're, if they're ready for it, they'll yeah. pounce and kill him. And then say, I told you so. Right. Well, I, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I ultimately feel like that's, that's the whole point. So maybe, yeah. maybe it's, we're going to bide our time and then we're going to end up killing them. Well, that's, I guess those are the kind of really the two options you have. Will they wait and let something happen? Like we just said, or, how, how do you think they can do it? If they want to do it themselves, if they're not going to wait for anything um, to possibly happen, how, how do you think they can, what, what would their plan be? Well, I mean, yeah, obviously, I, I, if that was the case. That's for it, fun. You know, what do you think they, they look, can... they, they If that's the case, again, like I said, they're either going to orchestrate him being able to get out and they're going to pounce on him. Yeah. Um, or they're going to just do it while he's in his cell or wherever they're keeping him. They'll just have him, someone go in and kill him. Listen, I don't set think, a zombie think in there. You know what I mean? I think, like, I I agree. I agree. I think Maggie can be the one that is going to orchestrate everything. I see Daryl and Jesus as like her puppets now. No one is going to really think that Daryl is going to go against Rick. No one thinks that Jesus necessarily is going to go against Rick. I don't think Maggie is going to be the one. Number one, she's three months pregnant, but looks like she's not. You know, so I don't think that it's going to be her necessarily. So. Could they plant something? You know what I mean? Um, is there? I, ju I just. All right. Well, look, there's no. All right. I know you, you, you're trying to. We're trying to. Let's let's cut all that out. Let's 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 let's, let's get to the end of this video here real quick. Um, obviously, there's going to be a time jump, right? So yeah. what we're going to end up probably seeing. I mean, this is pretty much we can all guess this correctly is that yeah. there's going to be a lot of tension between them. So whatever we see coming up in the in the premiere of the next season is going to be there's going to be this tension, you know, between them. Or maybe, Mike, you mentioned it when we were talking off camera. There might be a flashback to what happened. So there might, it might we might see the culmination of of something that happened. I don't know. But the, but but again, 
I'm well, not see, see how long the time jump is. Well, right, and and I'm not, you know, I'm not a hundred percent in in this show's ability to be clever anymore. So, I'm, <laughs> well, you know, I think I, I'm going to take it as uh, it's going to be a restart season. Let's see. I mean, uh, with the comic, I think it's what was like a two year. Uh, it was about time two jump. years, yeah. But right. look, that's what I'm saying. Like having this reboot, it'd be good. And it'd be it'd be a little bit of good drama, I guess, if there was a tension between the two. Because look, Maggie's right. I'm not saying yeah. Maggie's wrong when she was screaming at him, saying, "No, no, no! He killed my husband. You can't do that." I'm not. If that happened I mean, to me, I, I, I feel the same that way. Myself. I'm sure you question. Yeah, it too. I, 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 I would feel the same done. way. But yeah. having read the comic and 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 knowing what comes, so obviously I'm already like, well, it didn't phase me. But now when you think right. about it, like, of course she'd be pissed off. Of course she'd be upset. Yeah, but you again, can under, you can understand. Absolutely, and that's why I empathize. The, absolutely, exactly. And from the beginning, <laughs> but, you know how, how we mentioned in the beginning, it was just, the way they they shot that scene and they orchestrated right. It was, it was with just, those characters. It's just it, out of place for not only the characters yes. but for the the tone and like. And I just watched the scene again, and it's just the ominous music and that, like you said, that mafioso feel. Like, come on. Anyway, yeah. I, well, look. <laughs> let guys, us know. Yeah. Exactly. It, it was a, it was a, something that we really were, were harping on. We wanted to do something quick about it. So let us know in the comments what you think. Give us some of your ideas of how you think um, Maggie and Jesus and Dwight, uh, you know, may try to take care of the business. Have, have some fun with it, guys. Come up with some wacky stuff. I like to. We like to. You know, maybe maybe we'll read out the best. If you if we get enough if we get enough maybe and enough and enough good ones. They got to be good ones though. We can't just have like he's gonna kill him. <laughs> if we get enough um, comments in here, say, you know, ideas, like wacky ideas on how, you know, if we can get like maybe theory, like five of them, we'll, we'll yeah. rank them, you know, and we'll do like a little video like, yeah, that's you know, how idea. they, how's Negan going to get, how's Maggie going to off Negan theories, you know, rank one through five or something. I don't know. Um, Sounds good to me. <laughs> but it doesn't happen because you guys didn't give it to us. So just let you know right now. Uh, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching us. Uh, you know what, Mike? Let's skip all that. They know where to get us. They know what to That's do. Right. They're watching the That's damn right. video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you again for st sticking around for season um, eight of The Walking Dead. Yes. And, um, you know, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Peace.